Hi everybody. Uh, I hope that you are settling into your second week of online classes as well as can be expected. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time to go over uh, the, the research project, uh, sorry, the research mini process that I'm asking you to do for our Tuesday class meeting, okay? Um, this is nothing enormous, okay? I just want it to be a way for you to uh, become accustomed to working with the database I want us to use and uh, finding interesting materials. And I also want us to be able to um, use it as a way to begin thinking about uh, developing research topics, okay? So one of the interesting things that you can do with uh, um, uh, scholarly databases is, you know, use them as sort of brainstorming um, places, right? This is not to say that you should, of course, only do what you find, right? Here's my topic. This is exactly the kind of thing that I've researched and that I've found an essay on, and, and so I'm going to write on that topic, right? But it can give you a sense of, you know, the kinds of things that scholars are interested in, right? What people have said and tend to talk about, um, you know, about your novels, the novels that you're reading. So what we're going to do is use the MLA, the Modern Language Association International Bibliography, to do a little bit of that brainstorming and sort of thinking through what makes an interesting topic and identifying sort of um, groups of topics, right? Groups of, of essays that feature a specific topic, that speak to a specific topic. Um, your final research essay, right, um, will be due at the very end of the term, uh, and that is going to require you to use five sources, okay? So what we're doing today uh, for class on Tuesday will be kind of just a little bit of a brainstorming with the database activity, okay? So I also want to show you how to download uh, PDFs and save them to your desktop. Okay. So what I'm going to mostly do is uh, do a screencast, right? Uh, and I'm going to walk you through how to find the MLA International Bibliography through the library databases. And I'm going to do a few searches um, in that database, okay? And then I'm going to save a couple articles, maybe just one. Um, and, uh, and then I will um, come back and tell you what it is that I'm asking you to do with the materials that you find. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this should be fun. Um, I hope that you'll enjoy it, uh, this opportunity to kind of browse um, freely. Okay, um, so let me get the screencast set up and I'll be back with you in a sec. So um, we're back. Uh, I'm going to do uh, this section as a screencast, so be sure that you are paying attention and watching my mouse, okay, very carefully. So what I'm going to do first is show you how to find the MLA International Bibliography. Now this is a database uh, that actually didn't used to be a database, just kind of interesting. Uh, it was just an index. Uh, it actually used to be published in print form every year, and uh, that's how I did my research when I was going through graduate school uh, and college. Um, you had to look for your topics in these big books uh, and, um, and then use those topics to kind of cross-reference other things and look up particular journal articles that of course didn't exist on things like JSTOR or Muse, but in actual physical print copies of the uh, journals. So it's a ton e easier now. Um, there are some negatives, of course, meaning um, you know you, you you lose a little bit of serendipity, right? So uh, you kind of have to know what you're looking for. But what I want us to do today is invest our research with a little bit of play. Okay. So uh, I'm going to the databases, databases by subject, and the simplest way to do this is to go to literature and language because this is a discipline specific uh, database. And then the very first thing that you see up here is Gale Literature. Um, let's use the second thing, the MLA International Bibliography. And now it has full text, right? It used to be just an index, um, just an index, but now it has full text. It's linked to JSTOR and all sorts of other um, um, e-text repositories. So uh, I'm gonna click in here and it's going to default to the advanced screen. That's perfectly fine. One thing that I want you to keep in mind is that when you're doing any kind of research online, um, it really does work just like a Google search, right? Uh, it looks a little fancy, 
right? You've got all of these fields and Boolean operators and extra fields and different options, but you know, nine times out of 10, you're not really gonna need to use this and you can deal with that later. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? I mean, if you wanna limit things to full text, you click limit it to full text, right? It's pretty obviously, uh, it's pretty obvious how you can use this to narrow things down, okay? Um, but for the moment, we're not gonna worry about any of that, okay? We're just gonna do some basic searches, okay? Like I was asking you to do, like I'm asking you to do for this first kind of mini assignment. So what I want you to do with this project is find seven to ten sources okay using the MLA international bibliography that are of a topic on a topic that interests you or of a subject that interests you anything really that interests you related to um, a novel that you are interested in potentially working with okay so I want us to cast as wide a net as possible so that we can see what uh, what we can see okay? so let's do a search for Jane Austen, okay, and I'm not gonna worry about selecting a field. Actually, I'm gonna put this in quotes because even though I'm not doing Jane Austen comma Jane, it's highly unlikely that in, in the subject heading or in the description of the article, you will not find this phrase. So I'm just gonna simplify things and put it in quotes. Um, this is optional, I don't have to select a field, it's just gonna be anything. And I also wanna look for um, a, the title of a novel. Let's look for persuasion, since that's what we're reading next, okay? Now, I'm pretty, pretty, um, I'm pretty positive that even though persuasion is a broad word, it means other things, not just the novel written by Jane Austen in the early 19th century, um, because I've got it with Jane Austen, it, it's highly likely that I'm really gonna get results that are about the novel, especially since I'm searching within the MLA International Bibliography, which is for literature, language, cultural studies, etc. So I'm just going to do a very, very basic search. Okay, I can I can add more searches in here, um, more terms in here. It's it's you know fine if you want to do that, but for this first step, I want you to be as broad as possible. Okay, I'm going to click search and. The first thing that you want to do when you look at your results is to scan the page, okay? See what you can see all around the page. Okay, first of all, I notice that I have 1,500 results. That's a lot of results, okay? Um, one of the things I notice is that the very first two results are, of course, the same, but they're also in French. So I'm just going to actually go ahead and limit this to English because why not? I'm still gonna have nearly 1,500. Um, and I'm also gonna look for, I mean, why not? We can look for full text. I want to exclude dissertations definitely, okay? Exclude dissertations. You can always find full text of dissertations, but these are basically big fat student projects, okay? It's, it's kind of, it, a dissertation is the thing that every PhD student has to do in order to get their PhD. Okay. So it's good research, right? Um, but it's it's not as pithy as it could be. It, it hasn't been peer reviewed, uh, and you know, in order to really use it effectively, you need to be sort of at the very cutting edge of research, and that's just not us. Okay, so so let's not even worry about dissertations. Okay, um, let's also limit it to scholarly journals because that's what we're looking for. Okay, all right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start skimming through and I'm gonna see if I see anything that really interests me okay letters on fiction canceled chapters rewriting the seeming herself and Elliot's work in persuasion this is kind of interesting right um, I'm gonna save this all you have to do to save it is to click the little plus folder icon over here okay it's also got a PDF of a full text, which is very useful. Ooh, cinematic approaches to Jane Austen, uh, focusing on persuasion. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Um, I like that. Let me let me grab that too. Uh, consciousness, persuasion, and Jane Austen feeling embodied. Okay, that's something that kind of interests me. I'm not really interested in that. I'm not really interested in this. Um, okay, so let's go to the next page. Mm. 
But this is kind of interesting, surrogate managers, but it's not, I mean, you know, I'm not, it doesn't leap out to me. I mean, if I were doing, if I were interested in something else, I'm kind of interested in maybe gender, um, maybe interested in sort of the narrative um, structure of the novel. Uh, so let me see what I can find here. Prudence and persuasion, virtue on democ in democratizing areas. Eris, this is interesting. This is a topic that we've sort of discussed in in our um, conversations, right? This idea of democratization and how it impacts um, and how it impacts, uh, say, marriage and social mores. Mm. Mobility, the outdoors, and social positions and persuasion. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if it really fits with what I'm what I might be potentially looking at, but I'm curious about it. Revised ending. Hmm. I don't even know there was a revised ending, so maybe I should probably look into this. That's not true. I knew there was a revised ending, but uh, it's an interesting question. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, okay, well, I've got some stuff here, but, you know, I still have, right, 1,300 things. So, you know, if I really wanted to do a good search, right, I would have to limit it in some way, right? Let's say I want to look up uh, more articles that incorporate issues of narrative, the act of telling a story. Okay, now I have 38, and notice that I'm still excluding dissertations and I'm limiting it to scholarly journals. Okay, so this one, right, is still there, so that's great. Overcoming estrangement, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, it is in English. Um, this is, this looks like it could be curious. Um, ooh. Looks interesting. Point of views. Mm, interesting. Okay. Um, sensation of language. Ooh, I love that. Um, that's one of the really interesting things. Um, the way that uh, in in persuasion, Austin is much more detailed about the world around her, which is also something we've sort of talked about. So, kind of interested in that. Um, Mm -hmm. Of heartache and head injury. That's a funny title. Um, I might kind of just be interested in looking at that anyway, right? Ooh, and here's a perfect, here's something perfect um, for me. But I noticed that it's in foreign literature studies. It's a, it's a Chinese um, journal. I don't know. I may not, I may not, I may just skip that, right? I've got other things to look at. Ooh. Mother's unnarratable pleasure in the submerged plot of persuasion. Let's see. That's interesting. If I, you know, had some more time, I might look into that. That's kind of interesting. Uh, divided attention, Janison's worlds, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so uh, you get the sense, right? I'm just looking through here, browsing, seeing what's is sort of interesting to me, okay? So now let's go to my um, folder, okay? Um, and I just click folder view, and this is the 11 articles that I've uh, that I've selected, okay? Now, I want to show you a couple things about this, okay? First of all, we have, of course, limited this to academic journals, okay? Scholarly journals. But this little icon will tell you that it's an academic journal. If you are unclear, look for things like this. It's published inside something else, and that something else has information that looks like this. It might not be exactly like this, but you've got a year, you've usually got a month, You've usually got um, these two numbers, okay, which mean vol uh, volume and issue, okay. So this has been this is the eleventh volume and issue one. Usually, print journals are published maybe twice a year, so you have issue one and issue two. Sometimes they're published four times a year, in which case you'd have issues one, two, or three, okay. And then each year they're printed, they're published, you get a different volume, okay. Um, and then these are the page numbers. So this tells you how long it's going to be, okay? And this is, you know, what we're looking for. This this might be, this is this is quite lengthy, right? But, eh, you know, it's basically 80 to 90 pages. It's 10 pages. It's not that much, right? Um, right? So these are all, for the most part, going to be journal articles, okay? Once you start to look for it, you can see, right? This, too, is a journal article, okay? Um, journal article, right? All of these are journal articles, Okay. Um, all right. You'll also notice that they have subjects here. Okay. So if you, as you browse around, notice that you um, start to see certain kinds of subjects. Okay. 
female characters, right? Um, psychosomatic disorders, right? mental health, okay? Um, maybe you just want to have research that's about the character Anne Elliot, okay? You can tailor your search to, to focus on those kinds of things. But these subjects, this tells you in part how people are talking about um, this article, okay? This, these are the subject terms that, that the author has used to identify and, character and, and sort of categorize what is going on in this article, okay? So let's go into one of these. Um, Anne Elliott's work in Persuasion. Okay, um, a couple of things that you want to notice here. Okay, um, it's going to tell you that it's peer-reviewed, uh, national literature, it's got lots of, of, of um, classification elements here, some subject terms that we talked about, okay, electronic access and so on. Okay, um, usually over here there will be some kind of fine full text box or if it's immediately accessible there will be a PDF here, okay. I'm going to open this in a new tab so you can see what it looks like. Uh, I've blocked something. I've got something blocked. I'm not sure what I have blocked. Um, okay, uh, so this is what it looks like, okay? You have the whole article here, right? Um, these are paragraph numbers. This is so that you can cite it, okay? Uh, okay, so here's the article, right? Um, you can save this. You can um, email it to yourself. You can do a whole bunch of things with it. Now, different um, platforms will show you slightly different things. This is the this is EBSCOhost, okay? But there are a few things that you'll notice. Here's a download PDF button, okay? Here's a way to download right here. You can save it to your Google Drive. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I usually just save it on my computer. Um, but if you do send it to your Google Drive, that's great. Um, if you want to share it with me that way, right, share your resources with me that way when we get to the final um, research project, that's perfectly fine. And when we get to the annotated bibliography, right, um, I'm asking you to share your, your actual PDFs um, with your annotated bibliography. For right now, it's not a big deal, okay? I'm not even worried about it. Um, the only thing I want you to do now is find some articles that look interesting to you, okay, that are on the novel, uh, that you may want to write about for your final project, okay? You should start out as broadly as possible, okay? Um, with subject headings like uh, Jane Austen and persuasion, okay? Sorry, with keywords like Jane Austen and persuasion. Uh, but the goal is for you to kind of dig around, find some interesting things that speak to you, that you think look kind of curious, okay? You don't have to have a topic yet. I just want seven to 10 sources, okay, that you have found through the MLA bibliography on, a, on whatever topic that interests you, okay? It just should have to do with one novel, okay, by Jane Austen, okay? Preferably the novel that you may wanna work with for your final essay. Now, one last thing, I'm gonna, remember, I'm gonna ask you to, um, I'm gonna ask you to share your research with me in a Google doc, uh, in, in a Google document, okay? I would like you to put these in, uh, in um, MLA bibliographic form, okay? So let's see if we can figure out how to do that, okay? Um, I want to, let me actually select all, okay? And I'm not sure if it's getting everything on page two, but we'll see, okay? Um, let me just see what, what happens if I click export? Yes, okay, it's got all of my 11 sources, okay? Um, sure, I'll remove these from the folder after I've saved them. Doesn't matter, you don't have to check that. I'm gonna save the citations to a file formatted for what? Okay, um, what do I wanna do? I mostly just want to, I don't want this to put, let's see. Generic bibliographic citations in XML. Um, I just want the citation, really. So let's see. Um, direct export generic bibliographic. I don't know. Um, there's got to be a better way to do this, but let me let me not remove those. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. I just put it in a CSV. Um, I'm trying to find a simpler way for you to create your list of works cited uh, rather than typing it all in by hand. Let's see what we 
C in numbers. Okay, this does not help me at all, okay? Um, that's not what I'm looking for. All right, let's go back, okay? And what I want to do is maybe email. I'll email these. Ah, here we go. This is exactly what I want. I wanted these, to, I want these to, I want to email these to myself. I want to email them to me. Um, and I want PDF as a separate attachment when available. Uh, okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, citation format. This is what I'm looking for. MLA, okay. And then I'm gonna send this. Okay, so it's sent to me. And if I go to my email, I should be able to find them all. Here they come, right? <laughs> Here are all of my um, citations. Okay, so it's not it's not doing them all together, right? But basically, here's one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and maybe I'm going to go to my shared drive and to 490 and I'm going to make a new folder here that is called pal for my last name um, and I want to create a doc okay and here's my my research exploration okay so there's one right um, so you get the idea, right? I want to go and I want to grab all of these, and I just basically want to stick them into this document, okay? Now, ideally, you should put them in alphabetical order, right, um, and do the hanging indent and whatnot, but it's not a big deal. I'm not really too, too worried about that at this point. I just want um, your research. I want a list of your citations that you, list of the citations that you have found. Okay, um, so you get the picture, right? Uh, I'm just gonna go through and add all of these to my Google um, Doc, and I should have about 11 there, right? Got four now, that's five. Uh, you do always want to check and verify that this is an accurate MLA citation. Okay, sometimes the formatting is wonky, sometimes it's missing some information, sometimes the capitalizations are kind of weird, right? Uh, so you do always want to um, double check that stuff, right? Um, but for the most part, it's usually pretty accurate, okay? So you get the picture, right? Um, here, I'm just gonna put these all in a little hanging indent just to make it look fancy, okay? Um, and I will put my name up here. Okay. Okay, and there we go, done. Now what you're gonna do is save, is share this with me um, and um, update it, sorry, upload it to Canvas as a Google Doc, okay? So you'll basically submit this to uh, the assignment in Canvas um, that asks for this, okay, uh, as a Google Doc, okay? So let me know if you have any questions, but it should be fairly straightforward. What I really want you to spend the time on is browsing around this database and seeing if you can find interesting articles that speak to you, right, on whatever topic, okay? about one of the novels that we've read or maybe the last one that we will be reading, Persuasion, okay? So have fun, okay? And uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll look forward to seeing what you come up with, okay?